to the Archie Sonic comic encyclopedia, Silver still experienced some version of the events of the Sonic 06 video game. You know, everyone's favorite. Including the battle against Solaris. They chose to include this feat now? Before anyone is quick to point fingers, I actually love this episode. I love the animation, I love the soundtrack, and I think the results are accurate, despite one thing that they misinterpret. If you already saw the thumbnail, and if you already saw the intro, then you already know what I'm about to say. Sonic 06 is not canon to the Archie comics, and if you want to learn something about Sonic lore, then you've come to the right place. So. Strap yourselves in while I dive into the lore of Sonic 06. So Death Battle assumes that the RG comics and Sonic 06 are connected to one another because of this panel right here. But if you look closely or even bother to read it, you'll know that this article right here is nothing but an entire summary of the game. I mean, if we were going by that logic, then I guess Sonic unleashed this kid into the RG comics because Dark Gaia makes an appearance. But no, it's not! So all in all, I say that panel is just completely pointless and it's nothing but other than the summary of the entire game. In the game's continuity, however, there are tons of evidence to show that the 06 is canon to the games. Such as Sonic in the Secret Rings, where Eraser Jin calls out a flaming monster named Iblis, and Secret Rings is confirmed canon. Or what about Sonic Unleashed, where Soliana is still a country? Or in Colors DS, where Blaze and Silver feel like they've teamed up more than once before, and Silver makes a reference to the Blue Sky, which is a reference to the Blue Skyline in Sonic 06. But there is a major evidence point to one Sonic game that you all should know that I'm about to say. That game being Sonic Rush! What? What'd you think I was gonna say? Anyways, there has been a major connection between Sonic Rush and 06, mainly due to Blaze the Cat herself. Now, I can already hear people in the comments saying that she's from another dimension, yada yada yada, but look at this scene from Sonic 06 right here at the end of Silver's campaign. Okay, this was probably intentional, but I'm not so sure. But Blaze tells Silver to use Chaos Control to stop time and send Blaze to another dimension with Iblis. I don't know if you're aware, but that could referencely be in the Soul Dimension that's stated in Sonic Rush, which admittedly came out before Sonic 06. But it's definitely not all that far-fetched. Plus, Blaze even makes a comment to Amy that she can let out her emotions whenever she wants, something that she isn't allowed to do herself. That could be a reference to how Elise can't let out her emotions or else she can release Iblis and then Mephilus can have a better chance of forming into Solaris, which would then ruin the space-time continuum and we don't want that. But Blaze says Blue Hedgehog in her dialogue in Sonic 06! That's irrelevant. It's also a mistranslation too. Fun fact, Japan has three alphabets. Yeah, you heard that right. Three alphabets. So that explains why uh, Japanese games awfully get mistranslated in English or any other country. But there are something that kept nagging me in Sonic 06's Japanese and English translation, and that's these two scenes right here. Let's compare. Comparing the two moments, we see that one kanji is actually still the same in this sentence, with this kanji word for blue, oi, could also mean naive. This kanji also means two colors, which is blue and green in traditional language, fun fact. This could be a result of Blaze foreshadowing the ending of Sonic 06, where Silver is actually ended up as the Iblis Trigger, which Silver, as you can tell, is optimistic and naive. Didn't think, didn't think I would see that, did you? So no matter how you think it, Sonic 06 is nothing but a prequel to the Sonic Rush games. For even more proof, we can look at the official Sonic 06 guidelines when it explains characters' backstory like Shadow or Knuckles. And would you look at that? Bother to, if you even bother to read this. It's actually summarizing their backstories from previous games like Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2. Well, are accurately Sonic 3 and Knuckles if you want to count older games. Oh yeah, and I guess they're in Sonic Heroes and Shadow the Hedgehog because memory loss and stuff. But if you still don't believe me, Shiro Mikawa, the writer of Sonic 06, who is also the writer of Sonic Adventure 2 and Sonic in the Black Knight, confirmed that there were hints connecting Sonic 06 and Sonic Rush through this scene right here. HA! Man, people have doubted me for so long and I finally found the major clue here. <laughs> Man, I love my life and I love my YouTube channel's progress. 
So in conclusion, Sonic 06 is not canon to the RG comics. Death Battle, you got some explaining to do to Sonic fans. You can try fooling every Sonic fan in the world, but you can't fool me. Sonic 06 is wildly canon to the games, and it's the most referenced of all time. And if all of this factual evidence is not enough to convince you otherwise, then you guys are lost, and I, I don't know what to say. So, I hope all of this is enough to convince you otherwise, hopefully. And just so you know, this is all not an attack on Death Battle. And now that I think about it, if if this Solaris feat would be discluded in the fight, would Archie Silver lose against Xeno Trunks? Oh god. Oh god. I'll see you later.